Prince Harry and Meghan Markle thought Hollywood would roll out the red carpet for them but their tell-all campaign has disappointed Tinseltown, suggested one royal commentator. I do think that Harry and Meghan expected more support from Hollywood than they have recently received, Kenzie Schofield, host of the Today for Daily podcast, told Fox News Digital. The royal commentator continued, I think Harry and Meghan had an amazing opportunity to elevate themselves and actually be Hollywood royalty, but their decorum is making people think twice about the association. Schofield's comments come after Harry and Meghan failed to attend Oprah's 69th party back in January, which fueled speculation that Hollywood was falling out of love with the couple. Oprah's star-studded party included the likes of Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Lopez, and Sharon Stone. This followed the so-called Bath to Tea Party snub in January, where sources claimed the couple were not welcome at a glitzy Bath to Tea Party because it would be a PR disaster. Meghan underestimated how far down Hollywood backing order should be, former friend says in a recent interview with Express. Co.uk TV presenter Nikid suggested that the Sussexes are having a hard time competing with Hollywood's best and brightest. They're kind of quite far down really in that becking order, Eid claimed. And I think that's been an issue with them, in that sense of stepping down. I think the thing is that you forget that in Hollywood, royalty isn't somebody with a title. It's J.Lo, it's Sharon Stone, it's Beyonce, it's the Kardashians. That's their royalty. The presenter of the Royal Agenda on Royalty TV and the Royal Box for Yahoo continued, and also the Obamas or Clintons. If you've been in office, apart from Trump, then you're seen as being a top dog. I think they have underestimated that in many ways. Meghan and Harry eviction just the start as new sheriff in town, insight what Alex Murdo said as he was handed two life sentences, latest police officer, 32, shot dead in front of kids playing outside, report, I think they came in and thought that they're the number one people on the block and they're not really. They're kind of quite far down really in that begging order. And I think that's been an issue with them, in that sense of stepping down. However, other royal commentators disagree with this assessment. I doubt very much if Harry and Meghan are wringing their hands, worrying if they're being overshadowed by the likes of Beyonce and the Kardashians, Christopher Anderson, author of The King, told Fox News Digital. Meghan dreamt of having lots of wild kids years before meeting Harry the Duke and Duchess occupy a unique place in the celebrity universe, bringing much-needed touches of class and even history to what is otherwise a translucently superficial place, he explained. Not only are we talking about the son and daughter-in-law of the King of England, but one of the heirs to Princess Diana's mystique and enduring appeal. The ongoing controversies, the split with William and, his wife, Kate, the hubbub over Harry's memoirs, Charles fretting over whether his own son should attend the coronation, these things only make the Sussexes that much more fascinating to the Hollywood crowd. Several polls suggest the Sussexes are losing American support, with the latest poll showing a precipitous drop. A Redfield and Wilton survey of 2,000 eligible U.S. voters revealed that Prince Harry's net approval rating fell from minus 7% in January to minus 10% on February 19. The father of two's approval rating has tanked by 48 points since December 5, when he registered a positive net score of 38%. Meghan's ratings also fell as her 23% rating in December collapsed to minus 17% in February, having stood at minus 13% in January. 
support for other members of the royal family has seemingly received a boost in Redfield and Wilton's most recent survey. King Charles was handed a positive approval rating of 11%, salvaging much of the four points he lost following the release of Spare. Queen Camilla, who received several broadside shots from her stepson in his memoir, recovered her ratings from minus 8% in January as she is now liked by 23% of Americans and disliked by another 23%.